Hi, it's Dwyer. April 27th, 2024. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, one of the reasons why I make these videos is to learn from the public. There are times when the public is ahead of me. Let me eat crow here on the Dallas Mavericks. Let me just point out that Denver, the defending champs, had money on them. Uh, my real speculations were on Oklahoma City and Minnesota. I made an earlier video earlier in the season when you were getting huge odds on both, right? So I'm very conscientious of the fact that if OKC makes it to the next round of the playoffs, given that I have money on them, right, um, with leverage, the reason I was able to get the three teams that I just mentioned uh, and the Clippers um, to win the Western Conference, if not the whole thing in some cases, was because of the leverage I was getting on Oklahoma City and Minnesota, right? If you pick them at the right time, you got them at better than 20 to 1 odds, right? So understand, I want to protect my speculative winnings, possible winnings on those teams. And if OKC makes it to the next round of the playoffs, and it looks like they're going to, they would play the Dallas Mavericks, right? Vegas right now thinks that the Mavericks will beat the Clippers. The Mavericks to win the Western Conference are a plus 505. The Clippers now are greater than a plus 2000, right? So just understand the casinos now are giving you much longer odds on the Clippers. There are certain things that I did not anticipate. Right, the first is that Dallas, as you here online told me in the comment section of earlier videos, Dallas's trades late in the season has changed the defensive capability of the team. They're much better defensively now than they were before. Right. Let me also point out, too, that that last game against the Clippers was interesting. The Clippers never looked older. Right. You notice the age. Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Paul George, Kawhi, all of them over 30. Right. And here you had young guys just dunking off lobs. Um, it looked like it was straight out of Fi Slamma Jabba. It looked like a dunk fest by Dallas. More importantly, they were able to slow down the Clippers dramatically through their defense, right? So right here, to protect my investment in Oklahoma City, I'm not going to wait for the Oklahoma City versus Dallas series. I'm actually going to hedge it right here. Because I believe this is the last time that I'll have an opportunity to take the Dallas Mavericks to win the Western Conference at greater than 5-1. to one. Right? So right here, I'm throwing some cash on Dallas just to even out and protect my investment in Denver, OKC, Minnesota, and the Clippers. Right, I'm taking the plus 505 on the Mavericks to win the Western Conference. Let me point out, too, that I did not anticipate Kawhi Leonard having knee injuries during this round of the playoffs. He has told team management that his knee is not where it should be. Dallas, of course, has taken home court in the Clipper series, right? Let's go a little bit further here. Understand OKC, the one seed. Dallas would be their opponent in the next round. The Denver-Minnesota series is going to be very competitive. Now, that's not the way 
Sportsbook see it. Denver right now is a minus 128 to win the Western Conference. By contrast, Minnesota is a plus 494. Right? I might be forced to put more money on Denver simply because Denver has the home court. Denver is the defending champion. Right? And I already have a nice set of possible winnings off some earlier Timberwolves bets that I've made. So this is the flip side of betting futures, right? I, I already have some money on Denver, but it's just the idea that in trying to hedge, sometimes the team that you got the, you know, greater than 30 to one on at times. Uh, well, put it this way, the better than 20 to one on on the T-Wolves. With OKC, there were stretches for the season where you could have gotten them at greater than 30 to 1 to win the whole thing, right? Minnesota, just understand, you know, I'm going to be paying heavily for the um, hedge in that series, right? I'll make a profit because of the huge odds that I got on the Minnesota side of the play, even if Minnesota loses. But let's just say some of the oxygen has been sucked out of that bet. Let's talk about the Eastern Conference. I know Miami surprised Boston in Boston. The Celtics during the uh, Tatum era have always been a team that needs to be kicked in the teeth at times to get going. In other words, they're not the Bulls. They're not, you know, the team that just has an identity, the big red machine in baseball that just has an identity where they show up and they're motivated every game. Right? These Tatum Celtics sometimes need to be hit in the mouth during a series that they should win to then get back in the saddle. Now that said, and I'm a Knicks fan, just food for thought. I know the Knicks are a high seed in the East. But Miami's victory the other day over Boston does nothing to dissuade me from believing that Boston is coming out of the East. Right? I still expect the Celtics to come out of the East. I'm not even going to hedge the Celtics against the Miami Heat. Um, you know, I understand Joel Embiid is back and, um, you know, Philly certainly is putting up a fight against the Knicks. Uh, I don't believe in Philly. I don't believe the Knicks have enough, right? John Randall is out. Um, Indiana, offensively blessed team, right? They just don't have enough on defense, right? Obviously, too, the powers that be lied to all of us. We were hearing that Giannis would be back by now. Folks, as I said in earlier videos, when you hear that it's a calf injury, that's not a sprained ankle, right? That's the kind of thing you need to pay close attention to. I know Stoudemire, excuse me, not Stoudemire. I'm showing my age here. I know Dame Lillard uh, blew up in game one and looked great, right? You know what? Quite frankly, if you're Indiana, you want Dame Lillard trying to take every big shot imaginable, right, to, um, you know, carry the Bucks. The Bucks look done to me. In fact, the East looks done, except for the Boston Celtics. Um, while I do have some money on some of these teams to win it all, just understand I prefer the Western Conference winner props because I believe whoever comes out of the West is going to have a very hard time beating the Boston Celtics. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours. I hope you leave them in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.